Hi everyone, you're with Lucy from Art Shed Angel and I'm so happy to be here today on day 18 of the YouTube Advent Hop. So we have some beautiful creatives who are part of this hop. You can find out more in live art journaling and self-development. The link is in the description. Today I'm going to show you how to make washi tape out of tissue paper using your jelly plate. So we're just going to do some really fun things. This, all you need for this project is some double-sided sticky paper. If you don't have double-sided sticky paper, you can just use one-sided and glue it on on the back. But if you can get this, it's quite cheap. If you liked this video, please make sure you subscribe to my channel and click that bell and also make sure you head over to live art journaling and self-development. So the very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to colour my tissue paper. Now when you colour tissue paper um, on your um, gel plate don't let the paint dry too too long on the jelly plate because you will get it ripping. So I'm just doing some really random backgrounds here. This is not a lesson in jelly plate backgrounds. It's just very, very random. So I'm just adding colour. Um, here I'm trying to flick a bit of colour but I was getting it on my computer so I changed my mind and I thought I'll do dots instead. So here I'm putting dots on. Put your tissue paper down, use your um, roller and you can see there you have this lovely pattern tissue paper which is also great to keep in your kit for art journaling so if you let that dry um, everyone knows that tissue paper goes transparent when you put it on things and it works beautifully so here I'm doing some light ones so what I'm doing is I'm trying to do an array of different ones here I'm using alcohol inks on uh, my jelly plate just with some gesso and that's also a way to do it. Um, it doesn't matter what you're using here, watercolour paints, acrylics, it'll all work on the tissue paper. Don't worry about creases in your tissue paper, that adds to the actual look. Um, here I'm using my beautiful metallic pink and just, you know, this is just a fun bit. You don't want to make this stressful using the back of a pen to do some lovely dots. I do love a few dots. And just adding colours I like. So here I love this lime green on the pink. Just looks fabulous. And this is um, just again, putting my tissue paper down and getting my colour up. So you can use any colours you like um, in this. It's nice to have four different colourways. Um, I'm just adding a little bit more colour to that piece. Now what you need to do now is l allow it to dry. So I dried mine with a heat gun. I've got them all four of them together and it is good to do this to four together and I'm slicing them into strips. And all the strips are going to be different widths. Don't worry if you tear it a little bit, it's fine. So make sure the strips are all different widths. Don't do them all the same width. And here I'm just taking one side off my self-adhesive paper. And I'm going to be sticking these strips on randomly onto this paper. Now you do want them to kind of butt up to each other. You don't want them to be overlapping because obviously um, the tissue paper won't stick down you'd have to add some glue so here I, what I'm doing is I'm just making sure that they're all right up to each other and they stick so well to this paper. Now the good thing about um, self-adhesive paper is that it has kind of a clear glue on it and your tissue paper is also clear so you end up with a washi tape that has that transparency, which is so much nicer than if you're using solid paper. So just keep doing this here. And now this is perfectly all right to cut up just as it is, but I've got a second little part to this. So after I cut it nice and neat, trying to find my scissors, once I've cut it all nice and neat, I'm gonna cut it into four and I'm going to put it through my embossing machine with some embossing plates. So the next thing I'm going to do is put it through the embossing machine. So this way we end up with this tissue paper that has a texture 
which is quite magical actually. It's, it's kind of pretty, it's got texture. I just love this. I, I had such fun doing this project. So each of them now has um, texture. You can leave some without and you can create a whole stash of this quite quickly. Now, to change the colour a little bit, I've used some of my metallic pink and because there's texture, I've tried to pick up the texture and you can see there, you now have this paper that has not only the colours underneath but these beautiful textures. Some of it I've rubbed with my fingers and i got the higher parts and I've also done a couple of them with white. So I've just dabbed it onto the white. And if you have a look, all the circles come out beautiful and white. So this is something where you can use all your plates and create quite a stash. Look how pretty this is. So now you can cut this into um, strips to make washi tape. And I was really very happy with it. Um, you can't actually completely see how gorgeous it is. It's texture, it's colour, it's all those things that you like in art journaling. Or even card making. I see this as fabulous for card making. So I've cut some strips up. There's my washi tape. Then you can use your punches. If you have punches, you can cut circles with your punch. And I've got hearts. All of these things are just so fun to put in a little container. And what a great little gift if you've got a friend who's an art journaler. You can give them all these beautiful bits and pieces. I've used, I'm cutting out larger circles. And that's got not Ooh. only the colour, but it's got that great texture. So there's really no need to waste any of this. You can use the outside bits, you can use the inside bits. It's, it's just great. It's such fun. So I have, just for the fun of it, stuck these down now. And you can see here when I peel it off, it's easy to peel, but it's also transparent. And I've just stuck them in this journal page just to show you for the video how pretty they can be. And it's just incredible because you can see through them, which is such fun. So please subscribe to my page if you like it and make sure you head over to Live Art Journaling and Self-Development to see the other pages. You have been with Lucy and I have had such a great time doing this project and it definitely is one that I'm going to do more. So thanks very much and I'll talk soon.